please don't tell anyone about this. We don't want to start a panic. Indeed. Especially now that the Tower of Salvation is gone. I wouldn't dare tell people the truth. Tower of Salvation is gone? After that frightening earthquake, the tower disappeared from the eastern sky, along with that monstrosity. How could it disappear? I don't know. The Chosen never completed the ritual of regeneration. The Crucius core system, which controls the appearance of the tower, may have malfunctioned. It is of little consequence. No, it's not. It's a tremendous shock to the people of Silverant. After a giant earthquake sunders the land, the symbol of salvation vanishes. The Chosen will be held responsible. Why? Lots of other Chosen have failed up till now, too. The others have paid for their failure with their lives, but Colette is still alive. When people are suffering, they feel the need to place the blame on someone. It is not fair to Colette. I'm gonna go see what's going on in the village. I'll go too. Let's all go together then. It sounds like it's a bit sketchy for you to be walking around by yourself. I'll stay here. Go on.
Lloyd! Dad! How have you been? Were you affected by the earthquake? This area is on top of hard bedrock. Everything is fine. Dirk, we are here by the request of Colette's family. They wish for you to help her. I'm afraid even if Crucius crystals are an evolved form of X-Sphere, I still don't know the first thing about them. It'd be a better idea to ask a dwarf over in that Tethyala place. Oh, so even you don't know anything about these? I'm sorry I couldn't be of help. At least stay here for the night to get some rest. I must politely decline. Ah, uh, all right. Wait, are you really going back to Crucius? I am an angel of Crucius. Then why didn't you follow Yggdrasil's orders? To leave the Great Seed alone? I have my reasons, that's all. But as a result, Martell was not lost. That goes along with Yggdrasil's wishes. It's true, then. You really are our enemy. Lloyd. What? If you want to save the Chosen, you should research the records from the ancient Karlon War. Remember the words of the Unicorn at Lake Umasi. Wait. Why are you with Crucius when you're a human? What is he trying to do? Hey, wasn't that Kratos just now? Sheena! Yeah, he returned to Crucius. I see. So he really is our enemy. Yeah, but anyway, welcome back. Thanks. Thank goodness we stopped the giant tree. Yeah. This area resembles Ozette. Yeah. This entire area is surrounded by a forest. Lloyd, I heard about chocolate. And about marble? Yes. And other things as well. Were you hurt by chocolate's hatred towards you? Well, yeah. It's definitely painful when someone hates you, even if I deserved it. I see. But I'm going to do everything I can to make up for it. Even if I don't ever make up for it completely. Even if she never forgives you? Whether or not you're forgiven isn't important. It's the effort that matters. At least, that's what I think. This area was... Yeah. Lloyd. And... Yeah. Were you hurt? Well, yeah. Even if... I... But I'm going to do everything... Even if she Whether or not you're f it's the effort that matters. This whole total time, Colette hid her suffering deep in her heart and always kept a smile on her face. Yeah, and once again, I failed to notice. She is a courageous girl. It takes tremendous strength to smile no matter how dire the situation. Colette hides her suffering too much. It's okay for her to let her true feelings show. She knows the power that words possess. Power of words? Your will manifests itself in the words you speak, whether they be curses or words of joy. The soul of those words yields power. I get it. Okay, and I'm gonna say it out loud right now. I will save Colette and both worlds. The problem is what to do now. We need to know how the two worlds were forced apart before we can figure out a way to save them. How the worlds were forced apart? I wonder about that too, but... I also want to know why Yggdrasil split the world in two. Don't you think it was to protect the Great Seed? To protect Martell? But because the worlds were pulled apart, that phase thing got shifted. And the Great Seed became unstable, right? And that's not really protecting her. That's more like putting her in danger. Lloyd, you managed to, to, to say something intelligent every now and then. You're absolutely right. Every now and then? Jeez, that's harsh. The who, why, and how. That's what we need to know. Right now, all we know is who. I bet you lived a crappy hard life so far, huh? Gee, you sure know how to cheer someone up, don't you? <laughs> well, don't worry about it too much. So now what? Aren't you at your wit's end right about now? Why do you say that? The giant tree, which we thought was all good, goes nuts. Our cute little Colette comes down with some funky cold. It's just human nature to start getting tired of it all. I'm never gonna give up. If I quit, 
I'll never be able to face all the people who've suffered because of what I've done. So I'm gonna fight. To the very end. I can't give up. Hot-headed and stubborn as hell. Well, but I guess that's what I dig about you. Lloyd, I feel like I'm starting to hate humans more and more. I'm sorry, Genus. You don't have to apologize, Lloyd. I like you, as well as the people of Isalia. It's just that when I think about how there are lots of people who think just like the mayor... I remember a lesson where the professor said that words exist in order for people to understand one another. What do you do about people who don't want to understand? Genus. I'm sorry. I don't mean to take it out on you. Don't worry about it. Lloyd, I'm sorry. I'm being a burden to you again, aren't I? What are you talking about? You're the one that's suffering. Stop apologizing. Okay, I'm sorry. Lloyd, you saw my shoulder, right? Yeah. I wonder if I'm just going to turn into one big X-sphere. You dork. There's no way that'll happen. But it keeps spreading. Right now it's still hidden under my clothes. But eventually... Colette. If that happens, you're gonna hate me. I've caused you so much trouble, and now on top of that, my body's turning into this disgusting thing. It's not disgusting. Remember what I said. You're you. Even if you become an X-Fear. No. No, I won't let you become an X-Fear. Really? Yeah. Have I ever lied before? Well, okay, I have. But I did keep my promise to give you your birthday present, so I swear that I'll save you no matter what. I promise. <laughs> you always save me. And you always keep the promises you've made to me. Yeah, so cheer up. When you're down, everyone feels sad, including me. I'm truly thankful to have met you, Lloyd. This time, I don't want to disappear. I really don't. I'm gonna live, right? I'm going to be able to stay by your side, right? Of course. You're right here, in front of me, alive. I swear that you will be absolutely, positively, indubitably all right. 